Alright everyone, here we are with another video with the invest for tomorrow. To all the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all the subscribers, welcome back. All I ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video. And to stay tuned on in towards the second half of the video guys. Right after this chart analysis, I have a ticker symbol to share with you guys. As well as the opportunities I mentioned this morning over at the Discord as they're popping up here on the screen. I managed to find 4 home run opportunities giving us 20% plus at the highest point of possibility of each of these stocks. And if that's something you want to become part of and you're interested in, you're more than welcome to join us. The link is down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together. So here we are with SPCE. And I'm going to talk about why it's running, why it could possibly continue to run higher towards the weekend and the next following days, but also how this could actually fall just as fast as it's going up, okay? I do want investors to be aware of that because this stock is not profitable yet, okay? Super important to be aware of that. A lot of investors are just jumping into hype stocks and not realizing that there's some risk involved when stocks that are not profitable. Stocks need to be profitable so they can go higher. That's the regular form of a stock moving higher. Speculation and news sometimes adds to the fire to push it up like this is going on right now and it pushes it up to valuations that are far beyond what it's worth but i'm not saying that this stock can't be worth these numbers someday in the future or even hold it up because i have talked about as it's pulled back jumped up and pulled back that this could be holding itself up we would want to see this in this channel with a lot of volatility staying within this area and not breaking through 43 it touched it a little bit below that, but not breaking through 43 significantly and reaching newer lows. It touched it for a little bit and it shot up today. So what's making this run? Well, the first thing is the flight that's coming up. Okay, that's one of the biggest things that has added to the fire here of making this stock jump from the 30s all the way up to the 60s. Pull right back up and right down and then up and down and all that fun stuff. But one of the main things that actually hurt this stock and pulled it to the downside and that's why it's been sitting around the 40s and that's why it could actually fall below these numbers in the near future and i do want every single investor and viewer to be aware of that i like to be honest my honesty is worth more you know than a dollar my integrity is worth more than a dollar so i like to bring it as honest as possible and i'm just sharing my opinion right it's not financial advice this stock could go towards 70 it could go towards 100 someday in the future or it could happen really soon with all this speculation and hype but one thing's actually cooled down this could end up below the 40s or somewhere close to it and i'm going to share with you guys why the first thing is virgin galactic downgraded after stock more than doubled in six weeks now basically this analyst is actually stating that they went from a bullish stance right to a neutral stance but they raised their stock price target by 25 percent Right? They literally went from a price target of $36 to $45, but they turned neutral. So this is why I want investors to be aware of this, that when things come back to a reality or cool off, and there's not a lot of hype and speculation around this, this could back, can go back down to these numbers, okay? And possibly even below them. And I'm going to share with you guys even why more confirmation that can happen. But this stock is set to explode in the long term because there's so much room for growth in this stock right now so the stock is running right now because this flight's coming up there's a lot of speculation and hype but this is what this article states and i really like how they stated and it's so important to be aware of this because right now based off the valuation of the company and the stock's numbers and where it sits it can almost all be priced in and i believe that myself and the higher it goes the more priced in it's going to be right now in the short term. It's going to need to come back down to reality, away from space, <laughs> no pun intended, way up there, and come back down, settle things down so we can see a real valuation before this starts to pick up as revenue actually grows. So Virgin Galactic is moving in the right direction, and the odds are improving that the company will be running regular tourism flights by early next year at least. That's a huge, huge move, okay? That's why there's a good reason for investors to be excited because it's right around the corner. But it remains risky 
because space is hard and the near-term total addressable market for a six-figure ticket to the edge of space is really small. So there's not a lot of people that are willing to pay these tickets. There's not a lot of people that are probably willing to do this. And there's not a lot of people that are actually in this category and niche to pay such amount for a ticket to the edge of space. It's probably something very interesting and fun and amazing, but it's also important to be aware of the size of this addressable market, but how many people can actually participate in this market. Now, Virgin Galactic, despite generating little revenue, is valued by the market at nearly 12 billion, meaning that a lot of future potential growth is arguably already priced into the shares, guys. And when you think about it, the market cap right now is 12 billion. So there's a lot priced into this stock right now because when it was way down here in the 20s, in the teens, this stock was nowhere near 12 billion. It was about three to four billion, okay? So we have to see if things are already priced in, if this cools off, or if speculation and hype alone continues to push this up higher. But I do want investors to be aware and not surprised that if it does come back down after the speculation and hype, it's just a natural effect because everyone was waiting for that flight, for that news, and then profit taking is about to happen. It's just part of the system of how it works in the charts and it's part of everything when it comes to volume, inflows, and outflows. And think about it as yourself as an investor. If you got in way down here and you're waiting for that moment to take profits, you're going to take profits anywhere up here, right? And especially if you start seeing it pull down really fast. I bet there's a lot of investors that were sitting and holding their positions, right? From way down here. And as soon as they saw it pulling back down, they left. They left here if they didn't leave here. And they left somewhere in that area and said, you know what? I'm going to take the profits I got. Unless their goal was to hold for more than a year. And all this little baby movement, like up and down. Those baby movements have nothing to do with their goals. So what are we looking for? First thing is the 50 day moving average, $46. If that gets broken through, watch it very carefully. The next support is 42. And before getting to 46, I would watch 49. And the highest point reached in the day was 52. And the highest point reached in the last several days was 56. So 52 and 56 for the bulls to keep on pushing higher Then down here, at these levels at 49, watch how it reacts between 49 and 46. And if both of those get broken through, watch between 46 and 42. If you learned something new, don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell so you don't miss a single video that I post. Share this with a friend so they can receive the insight as well. And all I ask for in return is three to five more minutes of your time. I have a ticker symbol to share with you guys, as well as the opportunities I mentioned this morning over at the Discord. And if you want to know what stocks I watch daily, you can join us. The link is down below in the description. You can become part of it too. And we look forward to having you join us. Stay tuned. So the ticker symbol I want to share with you guys today is a ticker symbol that's actually gotten to the levels that I've talked about. And the closer it got to these levels, the bigger the opportunity it's actually bounced off of it. And this is a great time to be watching for strength or even some further weakness, making the opportunity even bigger. But before we look at that chart and everything about that stock, I want to share with you guys the opportunities I mentioned this morning over at the Discord. I managed to find four home run opportunities presenting themselves at the highest point of possibility, 20% plus. And if that's something that interests you and you want to become part of, you're more than welcome to join us. The link is down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together through the volatility of the market, whether portfolios are up, whether they're down, whether the stock market's up or down, we will always look for opportunities daily. So we talked about ARPO about a few months ago, hit a home run with it. Today, it was a home run as well. Talked about SEED, DBGI. We talked about TESS and GBS, and this was our lowest performer of the day. TESS gave us 10 to 15% jumps on the day. Let's look at the other four home runs of the day, how they performed, 
and when we talked about them. So GBS, we talked about it pretty early on, dipped a little bit and ran, giving a highest point of 35% plus on the day. Phenomenal. And gave a second run of 10 to 15%. Then we talked about ARPO, caught this one pretty early as it was dipping in the pre-market and actually towards the bell, hit a little bit lower and took off. In just a few minutes, about 35 minutes after the bell, this stock actually gave about 20% plus, pulled back down and continued to take off, giving a highest point of the day, 40% plus. We talked about DBGI, caught this one when it was consolidating after pulling back in the pre-market and took off to a highest point of 20% plus and gave small jumps of 5 to 15% plus opportunities. Then we talked about SEED, caught this one as it was falling towards the bell, fell a little bit more and jumped up, giving 5 to 10% opportunities right away, pulled right back down and took off to a highest point of 25% plus. This was phenomenal. And even after that dip, it gave another 10% plus opportunity. These were the four opportunities and home runs of the day. And if you guys want to know what stocks I'm watching daily, you're more than welcome to join us. The link is down below in the description to the Discord. And we look forward to having you join us. You can become part of it today as well. So, what's the stock you want to add to your watch list? It's PSFE, PaySafe. I've talked about this as it was pulling back. The closer it got to $10, the bigger the opportunity. And even before it jumped on the great news that came out back here towards the end of June and the beginning of July... This stock, I was stating, the closer it got to 10, the bigger the opportunity. At the 11s, it ran up, gave a nice 10 to 20% jump, pulled back down so far, and it touched the 10s for the first time in almost a month. The last time it did that was June 1st, and here we are July 8th. So actually, it was more than a month. It finally touched those lows of 1080. Now, the lowest point we've seen this stock reach is 1009. So this is something to watch carefully. If it gets closer to the low 10s or if it even breaks through 10 and hits newer lows. But the lower it goes below $10 or the closer it gets to $10 if it doesn't break through 10, the bigger the opportunity based off of analysis price targets and the niche that PaySafe is in because this is in the payment processing sector. It's a small growing company and as it continues to expand internationally and throughout the whole entire sector itself it's going to get its piece of the pie it may take some time it has a small market cap but it has room to grow and that's what i like about it the most but you also want to remember it was a spac merger so it does make it a little bit speculative until we get more concrete information over time about this company actually being profitable and where they're heading and what's their purpose as always guys this is not financial advice I'm just here to enlighten you guys on the stocks I'm watching and why I'm watching them. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.